identity is what is in question and by very definition as well as one's perceived grasp on the state of it. Clarity and rationale make not a man certainly mentally fit. I've heard come from the mouths of severally broken-minded people, slow, majestic and fluid. Dreams of the purest logic. Blood-stained hands that practiced evil without permission or motivation have penned lines of exploration of great care and benefit to entire populations and all human progress. There are many times when my thoughts cannot be ordered to convey with any sense those things which I know better and yet by devils I descend many levels into life on day. Familiar self-constructed bit. I've no cures that can only come about from people judged to be the sick. And I've seen wonder flash in the eyes of people who never move from a dock and silence. I've watched their tears make winding tracks down their faces as they at once come out. From under it insanity. Repetitive by nature. Although it appears as random chaotic outpourings of emotional instability to many. Trained observers it is often as predictable as it is unpredictable. It is unwise to turn your back on a beloved brother much less on a weapon wild in human. Being in the throes of a delusion of his or her own mind's complex making unless you're area of study is the tempting of age practicum ad nauseum. In our collective shift from third phase protocols to fourth phase protocols we need to take some time to reflect on our achievements, dissect our missteps, revise our actions, plans, and reorient ourselves with the basics of our profession. Safety is the cornerstone of all we do in this facility. Dignity and integrity are ingrained in every